It is well known that people with kidney disease are at a higher risk of developing heart disease and vice versa. But don't worry, I've got 10 tips to help you keep both your heart and your kidneys healthy. Coming right up. Hello, kidney warriors. James here, your favorite kidney health coach. So why is it that those that have kidney disease are at a higher risk for heart disease and those with heart disease are at a higher risk for kidney disease? Well, they both share a lot of common causes, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, lifestyle choices like bad diet, overweight, smoking. For this reason, it's very important for kidney patients to take steps to help prevent heart and blood vessel problems. When we begin making changes to improve our heart health, we also are helping our kidneys stay healthy as well. Now, before we get to the 10 tips, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV, and click the little bell icon. That way you'll get a notification every single time I upload a brand new video. And now to today's tips. Number one, get tested. It turns out that heart disease is a risk factor for kidney disease and kidney disease is a known risk factor for heart disease. Therefore, if you have one, you should have yourself tested for the other. Number two, eat a balanced kidney and heart healthy diet. Reduce the sodium in your diet. Be sure to stay away from processed food. Choose more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Reduce the foods that are high in saturated fats and cholesterol, like eggs, whole milk, cheese, and anything fried. Eat more foods that are rich in heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. These include cold water fish like salmon, um, albacore tuna, and sea bass. Number three, reduce your sodium intake. Now, doctors recommend that for general health, people reduce their sodium intake to 2,300 milligrams each day. But those of us with kidney disease, we're on an even tighter budget. We may be allowed only 2,000 milligrams or even 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. And your doctor yeah, may even give you a lower target if your GFR, your kidney function, is even lower. Number four, increase physical activity. Physical activity offers many health benefits, including decreasing your blood pressure, increasing your muscle strength, lowering blood fat levels like your cholesterol and your triglycerides, improving your sleep, increasing your insulin sensitivity, and helping you control your body weight. And it'll make you feel good. Shoot for at least 30 minutes of physical activity five days a week. Number five, control your weight. If your BMI is 25 or over, you should talk to your doctor about a plan to reduce your weight. You may even want to work with a dietitian to give you a better um, caloric target for each day, number of calories you can eat, change to your current diet, and how much more physical activity you should do to help get your BMI down as close as you can to 25 or under. Number six, reduce high cholesterol levels. High blood levels of fat, like cholesterol, increase your chance of developing heart and blood vessel problems. A simple blood test can check your total cholesterol and other fats in your blood and let you know where you stand. If your blood levels are too high, you may need to follow a low-fat diet and increase your exercise. And some patients may also need to take a pill, such as a statin, to help lower their cholesterol. Number seven, keep high blood pressure under control. Follow your treatment plan carefully to control your high blood pressure. This is extremely important. The blood pressure medications usually preferred for people with kidney disease are called ACE inhibitors or ARBs. Guess what? They help protect your heart. Be sure also to follow fluid and sodium daily intake limits to keep fluid from building up in your body and increasing your blood pressure. Most doctors recommend a blood pressure of 130 over 80 or lower. 
Number eight, if you have diabetes, keep your blood sugar well controlled. Over time, having high blood sugar can cause damage to your eyes, your nerves, your heart, your blood vessels, and your kidneys. Good control of blood sugar and other self-management actions can help slow or even completely stop and prevent this damage from happening. Number nine, quit smoking. The strongest modifiable risk factor for both kidney and heart disease is smoking. There is nothing that is more important in the prevention of both heart and kidney disease as stopping smoking. Smoking causes hardening of the arteries, which causes both coronary artery disease and nephrosclerosis, or hardening of the kidney due to disease of the blood vessels in it. Smoking is also a risk factor for high blood pressure, which can cause both heart and kidney disease. So cut it out if you still do it. Number 10, take all medications as prescribed. Be organized and you know, use an app like Round for your phone to remind you when to take your medications. And there you go, 10 tips to keep both your heart and your kidneys healthy. And don't forget, if you have one, you are at risk of developing the other. Now, if you know anyone who could use this information, it could be helpful, share this video. Introduce them to Dadvice TV. Send them the link to my website, dadvicetv.com, where you can find tons of information, all sorts of tips and tricks. I got a downloadable food list of what I eat on my kidney diet, which is fantastic. Make sure you've downloaded that and you're using it to help find foods to fit your diet. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, one last plug for it, please do so. YouTube.com slash TV. You can also join the conversation over on Facebook. Facebook.com slash TV. I love having lots of people in there. Send me your questions. I'll answer them. If you have a question, put it in the comments down below. If I don't know the answer, I'll research it and find the answer for you. And if I can find it, I'll post it right here so that you have it and other people can also see that information. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.